Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at the clipboard in Word. So when you copy things in Microsoft Word, so if I just highlight this and just do Control C for copy, I can then just paste that anywhere in this document. If I do Control V, that'll let me paste it down there. Control V, Control N for a new document and Control V. So it just pastes over and over, even into different programs because that's the last thing that I copied or cut. So the same thing would happen if I cut something. So if I cut that and then click down here and then paste and then paste and paste and paste and paste, it's just that one line. It's no longer this paragraph. Which sometimes can be slightly annoying and you have to go back and copy it again. Now the clipboard would allow you to select different elements that have been cut or copied depending on when you did it now at the moment there are 24 options you can use in the clipboard to do that so if I just close this document for a minute control W don't save it so I'm back to this document the clipboard is on the home tab on the left hand side with cut copy and paste and format painter and it's this little tool here and then you get a list here so if I clear all just start get rid of it that's how it is to start with so if I now just go through this for you, so if I do control C on that, you can see the word there has now appeared in the clipboard area. If I double click in the margin and control C that paragraph, that paragraph has appeared. If I highlight Peter Lorimer, copy that, Peter Lorimer has appeared. And if I highlight some other phrases, copy whatever I highlight appears in the, in the clipboard. Now, Obviously, if I copy that as well, now what I can do, if I get a new document, I can activate the clipboard that's still there. I want that. I want then that. I want that. Then that. Then that. And that. That's how it works. So you've got just options there in there. So basically, with the clipboard on, it's not just going to overwrite the previous copy. It's just going to let you select from the list. Down the bottom, you've got options, and you can set that to come on automatically. Depends whether you've got a um, big screen. Obviously, if you've got a small laptop or tablet, you wouldn't want part of the screen to be taken up by there. And you've got this option here: press Control C twice, show the clipboard, and these other options are already ticked on. So you can change the options if you want, and you can clear it and close it like that but once it's been activated once it stays there and if I come out of Word if I just do control W don't save that control W don't save that control W don't save that get a new document so I've stayed in Word clipboard still there but now let's come out of Word control W close Word down altogether and then come back into Word you can see that it's still there even though I came out of Word until you clear it it remains there now if I close this down I will clear it actually so basically the clipboard is a great tool it's been around for donkey's years it's not a new feature but a lot of people don't realize that you can click on this little down arrow to activate it or you have to activate it like that otherwise it's just straightforward copy and paste one of one over another so whatever you've copied last will be pasted or whatever you've cut last will be pasted so hopefully that's just a short video hopefully it was of use and is of use to you to use um thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one